Hi Leo, welcome to your fortnightly reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. So, um, basically I am on holiday next week so I won't get to do the weekly readings. So I'm doing you a fortnightly reading so you don't miss out and I can continue to guide you on through the next fortnight. When I get back it will be business as usual. Um, so, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support as always and into both of these decks that I'm about to use I would like to call in all forms of love like peace, prosperity and abundance and I hope that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, I'm going to be using the monthly format for this and basically it's just going to kind of straddle the next uh, fortnight to kind of see you through. Uh, the first card out is your actions. It's how you interact with the world and the steps that you may well be taking over this week. Um, you know, and, and the, the, the reception that those might get. <coughs> so, uh, your actions is ruled by fire. This is about the divine spark and the divine will within you. Oh, wow. Okay, so you get the star card. Um, phew, amazing. The star card represents hope. It represents optimism. It actually represents the sign of Aquarius, which is your direct opposite in the zodiac. Um, I love Aquarius, and I also love Leo. I am a Leo rising, and I am an Aquarius sun. So I'm very excited to see what might come up in this reading now. Um Okay, so this talks about hope, it talks about optimism, it talks about opportunity. When you see the star card, some kind of wish that you've made, some kind of um, dream or hope that you have is about to start manifesting, it's about to start materialising. This is the, the ability to, or rather this is the fortnight where what you've asked for now starts to show up. This is where you start to see the reward or the dividend of the wish that's been made. Um, now, the star card, like I said, represents the sign of Aquarius. And so, therefore, it talks about the future. It talks about what you want going forward. It talks about the wish that you've made or the hope that you have. And it talks about that thing starting to become manifest. It talks about that thing starting to happen for you. Um, you know, the, the fact that the figure on the card as well is naked talks about trust. Uh, and that's one of the big taglines for Aquarius. You know, if you ever, um, if you read up about, uh, you know, Aquarius as a sign, it's it's all to do with trust. It's all to do with um, the spirituality of the group. This also talks about your tribe. You know, this talks about you interacting with people. This talks about um, you finding a group that you just feel that you click with. It's about finding a, a group or interacting with a group over the next fortnight that just makes you say you know what, they get me. And the interesting thing about this is not many people do get Aquarians. I know you guys are Leos, I'm a Leo rising, so hear me out. What I'm saying is, um, you know, this is an energy of sometimes not necessarily being understood, but it talks about being within your tribe, it talks about your, indiv your, individual your individuality within the tribe. And sometimes that's the best that we can hope for, that people say, you know what, I don't necessarily understand you or get you, but I love you and you're one of me, you're one of us, and that's good enough for me. You know, if we were all the same, life would be boring. And Leo, this week, this is about you finding your unique thread in the grand tapestry of that is life. This is about you really expressing who you are at a deep level and that being received and accepted in a really, really good way. It's people looking at you and saying, wow, you know what? You're quirky and you're fun and you're different and you're vibrant and no, I don't always get where you're coming from, but I love you all the same. You know, you you are part of my tribe. You are part of the journey that I am on. You know, this is a very tribe sort of card because it represents the community. You know, Aquarius talks about friends, relationships. It talks about interactions with the group as a as a whole. But because Aquarius is, you know, kind of a, a bit of a fringe sign, it talks about you know you finding what your quirks are and how they work for you and what your individualism is within your tribe you know what is the the color that you bring to the rainbow that you interact with you know to, you, you, it's probably way too flowery than it needed to be but i'm sure you get the drift this is you know your actions over the next fortnight are blessed and you will find that people trust you 
that people really warm to you and you know want to support you in your endeavors and the reason being is because it's like wow you know what what you see is very much what you get and i can work with that we all can so, so you know it's a great thing it's a great way to be seen and to be received so the next card is your money and your materials Wow, so two cards out of two cards, both majors. So then you get the Emperor. The Emperor talks about the authority. Uh, you know, it could be anything, and it's the institutions. Whereas um, the Hierophant represents like the status quo, the, the Emperor represents the institutions within the status quo. So this is hospitals. Um, it talks about, uh, you know, uh, schools, uh, hospitals. It talks about churches all of those things like the establishments within the wider establishment effectively but it also talks because it's ruled by Aries so it talks about the authority it talks about um you know tapping into that ability to to say right this is what I want uh, you know the way that I see this actually this is you really deciding and really choosing this over the next fortnight this is how I want my prosperity to show up for me this is how I want my finances to work for me the thing about the emperor is he's a very very fair character um, you know it, he will listen to all things and all people in all places but he recognises that his word is law. And, you know, Aries is all to do with the head. It's all to do with thinking about things. This is you really thinking about a plan to make more abundance for yourself, to make more money, to make more finances. Um, for some of you, you know, like I said, this is the wish coming forward that you've wished for, that you've hoped for. For some of you, this is going to come in the form of a new job or a job offer. For some of you, this is you being headhunted, literally headhunted like Aries, you know, you being plucked out of a crowd for the way that you stand out this is about something you know and it's also because what is the the emperor at the end of the day is a king you know he's a high king and what are kings all you know they're all about rulership and what is rulership rulership is responsibility you know it's authority this is you being given more responsibility more authority it's about you being given the opportunity to earn more money to make more money by a new opportunity that gives you more responsibility so it's like the the, the money the you know the finance the materials it's all going to start to manifest for you now but along with that the universe is going to give you more responsibility with it you know it's like you can't just have one you're going to have to take both together very very interesting in your heart and your hearth this talks about your interesting because this card has just shown up as well in the previous reading. So your heart and your half is your emotional connections, your family, your friends. It talks about your lover, your wife, your partner, your husband, your spouse, your boyfriend, um, your boyfriend and your girlfriend. You know, depending on whatever your unique colours and situation are. Um, okay, so this is, the three of pentacles talks about institutional learning. Uh, I'm going to be really honest with you because like I said this represents the institutions itself so this could be like school or university or any of those things <laughs> and I'm going to say this there is some sort of learning that is on its way to you over the next fortnight and there's going to be somebody in this space of learning that really really captures you whether you're in a bond already whether you're single, whether you're, you know, newly coupled with somebody, there is going to be a mutual respect and a really depth of, you know, I'm just going to, excuse me, just going to be really honest and say it, there's going to be a depth of attraction there that takes place between you and another person at some form of learning that takes place for you. Whether this is a work course, whether it's, um, you know, yeah, it could be a work course, it could be... Uh, it could be you know the open day for the university that you choose to go to it could be um you you know a, a form of learning that you're already on, enrolled on and have been for some time but this talks about some sort because of, like i said the three of pentacles is some sort of learning some sort of institutional learning academics that takes place and the, the you know the emperor is the institution itself and the fact that this is your um, heart and your half this is your connections i really feel like there's going to be a real mutual respect and sometimes when you have that mutual respect with somebody it kind of goes beyond that and you think oh you know i actually think i might fancy you just a little bit <laughs> um 
you know, if you're in an established bond, obviously I don't condone you ruining that for the sake of this, because it might amount to nothing. What I'm saying is there's definitely going to be a meeting of minds that kind of gets you in the feels. So just be mindful of that if it's something that you don't want to do. If you're single, you know, this is you meeting up with somebody at a place of learning. If you start starting a new job, then this is somebody at that new job that really presses your buttons and vice versa and you work well together and you know you have this bond you have this mutual understanding and respect between you um for those you know in terms of your family and your friends this i kind of the way that i see this is don't be afraid to listen to other people's viewpoints you know i know we're proud lions and you know leo's a you know my word is law and <laughs> when i put my paw down da -da 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 -da. Um, but don't be afraid to hear other people out because they might have information that ends up being really relevant to your situation. You know, um, certainly in terms of your friends and, and your family, you know, hear them out because it might well just be that you're just being a little bit stubborn. It happens. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so the next one is your communications. And then you've got the pentacles, the king of pentacles really interesting so big sort of big characters showing up for you over the next fortnight big opportunities coming through those characters like i said you shouldering new responsibilities being given new responsibilities uh, your communication sector has the the earth king uh, who is this a part uh, this is a, a capricorn a virgo or a taurus you know somebody that has those traits somebody that is very educated somebody that is very learned somebody that um really knows how to press your buttons somebody that really knows how to give you fuel for thought you know not food for thought fuel for thought somebody that might well you know in, exasperate and infuriate you but makes you think makes you really start to, to to think outside of what you've known for such a long time this is somebody that forces you to think in brand new ways your communications as well what is the the king of you know in terms of things that he represents the king of pentacles represents accomplishment and achievement so your communication style is about to change your communication style starts to get um starts to get noticed it's your going to be your communication style that people really look at and say actually yeah, you know what i can you utilize a person like that i could utilize some skills like that in my business for my company da, 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 da. but yeah certainly leo over the next fortnight i really see you being headhunted i see a new uh, new work or study opportunity that comes forward and i see somebody attached to that work or study opportunity that really really fires you up and vice versa so pay attention if you're already in established bond this will just be um, a case of you having to really solidify the fact that it will just be a working relationship and nothing more um and vice versa you know who knows how it will, will pan out but keep me posted uh really really um i love all of the comments as well from you guys it's amazing to see how it pans out for people and what it it ends up like, looking like and the colors and the shapes that it sort of takes place as the destiny of the next two weeks is the moon card uh interesting because i think you guys had this one last week as well um this is again dredging through the past however this time i feel like the rose tinted glasses are off you're finally seeing the past and all of the people in your past for exactly what and who they are and now you're starting to turn that into something practically applicable you know that now you're starting to say right okay well i've had that experience which means you know this is one of the good things about observing your past and i mean really observing your <sighs> excuse me <laughs> one of the good things about really observing your past and getting to know it means that if you can figure out where you are in that specific cycle and the moon is a cyclical being you know if you can figure out where you are in that cycle you can intuit the moon intuition you can intuit what is about to come next. Leo is very, very intuitive because we're giant cats. So tap into that energy so that you can figure out, okay, if this was a previous cycle that I was in before and this happened last time, what happened next and how might it happen this time around? So certainly something for you to keep an eye on and ear on. It's going to be an amazing fortnight for you. Keep me posted on it. Uh, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the email address below. 
don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I would be eternally grateful for it. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. For the continued subbies, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. For those of you just passing through, I hope you found something that is relevant for you. And for those of you that are um, new subbies, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to have you. Take care and I'll see you very soon.